Hello and welcome to this Hopper Duct tutorial where I will go through how to make a compact item sorting like the one I have over here. Uh, but before, before we can do that, let's go into how Hopper Ducts really work and we can take a look at this item sorting. That is very e simple to build, it's very easy to understand but it's very large and uses up lots of material. So this is not a recommended way of doing it, but for a few chests, it might work. So let me just take everything from these chests and take a look at what we have. So we have the input chest over here, it's empty. We have a normal hopper that will suck out everything in the chest. They will be pushed into these ducts and go up here to the top grated hopper. So the grated hopper will push all the items to this top row and all the items that we have in this filter, I mean. So gunpowder and spider eye will be pushed over here and then down into the mob drops chest. Since we have this filter only these items are allowed away and that's what then this normal hopper beneath will take all the other items. They will stay up here unless we have this hopper down here and send them over here where we have another filtered for iron, gold and ingots that goes over to the ores and ingots chest in the second row and then we repeat this, this uh, filter in the great hopper with the gravel and sand, cobblestone and so on. So let's put everything here in the chest. This input chest will take one by one, as you can see here. It won't be that fast, but normally it's quite fine. One by one they will f flow through the system. You can see them flashing into this crater hopper, then down here and then things go quite fast when they arrive here. I wonder where we are. Here we have the ores right now. Now we have the cobblestone and so on. So if we take a look over here, the mob drops chest got the gunpowder and spider's eye. We are getting the ingots and ores here, sand and gravel, cobblestone. And finally, since this is our last grated hopper with planks and wood, then this hopper will just suck up any items that are not in any of these filters. Like saplings and what was that? glass, I think. So this one is not sorted, yes, just an overflow chest. So that's how the sorting works, but we can make it very much more compact if we place a chest like this. In the normal vanilla you need to use a chest and trap chest and and then just do each uh, every second. I'm using iron chests because I have the mod installed and it looks <laughs> it's easier to see. So it works very much the same. If we take a look back here it looks like a mess but it's really not that bad because Really, this is only two patterns that I repeat over and over again. So this is the input chest. Input chest over here. Let me just grab everything. And once again, we have the not sorted chest here in the back. And then we have this, uh, this chest because it's not sorted. Um, so it's called available. Let me just go through everything here. So the input chest, a normal hopper, into this duct and then send it up to this first grated hopper. Here we are sort iron ore and gold ore. Then we have a normal hopper beneath, send it to the, this duct and then up again to another grated hopper where we have ingots. And then we have another normal hopper, set it down and then we just repeat this pattern over and over again. It looks like this. We come from the side, up here, and then down to the lowest level, 
and then out here and back again. So this is the entire pattern. Now I had one, this is the one with woods and this is the one with no filter, so it's available. And even if we have no filter at all, the items will not go into this chest they will be sucked down here. So only items in the filter will be sorted. So let's just, oops, let's just put everything here in this. And take a look at how this works again. Normal hopper into the, no, into these ducts. Graded hopper for ores down, you can see that it's pointing to the side into this duct and all the other items will be sucked up by this hopper and then move along. Over here, check for ingots. So every grated hopper will work as a filter and it will check every time it comes in there. Is it valid item? No. Then we just send it on. Oh, and on and on and on and finally we have this one, it's not used, and this is normal hopper, just down to a duct and up to the final not sorted chest. So we can take a look here, ores, input chest still working, ingots over here, cobblestone will end up here, and mob drops, and I can reach the grated hopper from behind like this, you have, see I have sand and gravel here, wooden planks and nothing here but of course I could fill it like this just to make it look better but then you won't be able to reach <laughs> so perhaps I'm not I don't recommend that and this is the unsorted chest you could also do some automation for example these ones the ores, they are not very useful in that form, for at least not in vanilla. So you can actually do another variant uh, where you connect it to a furnace. So let me take a few stuff and take a look at this setup. Input chest, just throw your ores and coal here. We have the normal chest to pull them, push them into this duct, go up to the top, grated hopper. Here I sort on ores. The ores are sent to the side, to the top of the furnace, and all the other items that are left will be sucked up by this hopper and sent into the side of the furnace. Of course, this is the charcoal and, and coal that we send here. If I were to send another, some other item, all right, <laughs> I actually inserted a filter. Uh, the item will be stuck up here, but actually this, I changed it in last minute and set a filter for coal and ores here. So we actually prevented this from happening. Forgot about that, but it's a good way to filter the input to this. But normally you would just, I guess you just uh, take coal and ores from here and just send them over to the top of this one. So combine two outputs from the main sort. And then we'll get gold ores here. We fill up with coals here. And then the iron ore, they will actually be in this. So you can have a few buffer steps. Every duct can hold one item or one item stack. Now everything is okay. Yep, everything is filled up. This one is filled up. If you take a send back here, see, they will be filled up and then the next one will take its place. So as long as you're not overfilling this item hopper, then uh, this one will be free. So, all right, normal hopper. So that's the item sorting in hopper ducts. Uh, and if you wondered how to rotate these, just with a normal stick, right click or I think you can also when you place them, you can shift right click to make, yep, to make it attach to a specific block. All right. 
If you have any questions about this system, feel free to ask. And if you do build anything with it, make sure to show me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.